So Chris, you're, you're an expert. You've been to all five Question Time events in London. A few people asked, and it came up a few times, if, if we don't innovate, what's the cost of not innovating? Yeah. No, I think there, there's, there's the question of whether what's the cost of not doing it, but there's also the question of what is it that should be done? I think a lot of people are afraid of making the wrong decision, so then they end up making no decision. And I think what the panel uh, illustrated very clearly is that actually no decision is worse than, than making the wrong decision. It's better to make a wrong decision and learn than not. I mean, a gentleman from Capita, for example, was saying that you know we have a set budget for, for these things and actually half will fail and half will not. That's exactly the right, but, but he says that you know some will fail, some will not. And that's how they learn, and, and that's that's acceptable. And I think a lot of organizations would struggle with that, where, where they to say, we'll take on technology, but it might fail. A lot of people are afraid. <laughs> and I, th I think a lot of people who are risk uh, averse in terms of technology, they don't understand the potentials uh, in terms of, uh, of how little can go how far. Uh, and I think a lot of the examples of the panel were, were showing that They'd made, uh, you know, small changes, or they'd made uh, uh, evolutions like, like um, C, uh, CWT. CWT, you know, had simply just brought in a CTO from external, from outside the the area. And now they're they're transforming massively in a short amount of time. Uh, so you know, you can make a little bit of a change and implement things uh, and, and make a, a really healthy. Yeah, I think they, they said it was a mind shift in terms of yeah. going for innovation that took two years, where everything was over tried and tested. Yeah. The product got to market, it was too late, and now they they innovate or release new product quarterly. And, and speaking of CWG, we had competitors there, we had TMCs competing, but yet at the very end we went to where is innovation coming from, and it's coming from retail, it's coming from outside of travel. So Amazon was mentioned as, as an example. Well, I mean, I run a company that, that's been working for the, for the hospitality side of travel, so the hotel, we do service departments. But what I find is in travel, the innovation is a lot, lot more uh, hesitant than it is outside of travel. So actually bringing in expertise and background from outside is, uh, is clearly something that's needed uh, because it hasn't come from within typically. So those few of us who do provide something that is you know, groundbreaking or, or, or helping the industry move forward, we have trouble trying to convince people that you, know, you really should make a change. So if the more people we can get into the, the travel industry uh, from, from parallel industries, uh, the better. Very interesting. Um, let me finish with this. Give us a, 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 a nugget or a gem. You've, you've done five of these events. Yeah. So there's definitely something that brings you back every single time. What is it? I, I really enjoy... These events don't attract just one part of the travel industry. They, they're, they're wide, so you get people from, from air, from hotel, from, uh, from uh, you know, transportation. Uh, and what I enjoy is just getting a little bit of a touch point as to where are we, what are people worried about. At the last event, there was huge discussion around personal data security, etc. That didn't actually come up today at all. I mean, there was a mention saying that in the future we might worry about it, but nobody actually kind of paused on it, whereas that was a big thing last time. So because I work in technology, I, I, I run a technology company, I like to go to an event which is like this, where, where there's audience participation. There isn't just kind of someone sitting at the front and, and dictating. To get a feel for what are people thinking these days? What is, what's the current uh, you know, uh, undercurrent? What, are, what, what is actually uh, the, the one or few uh, themes that get pulled up most? And to me, that's what these events are about. They, 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 they're, a, they're enough of a, a um, should we say small, small enough event that you get good interaction and you can get a feel for where, where the industry is going. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time, Chris. Thank you.